How do blockchain and digital assets help build out the internet of value? It's two things at the same time, right? It's an infra infrastructure for moving value around the world, and, and that's both uh, the distributed ledgers as well as the interoperability layer, ILP, for example. So that's, that's really analogous to the way the internet works with uh, the internet protocol. The second part of it is uh, digital assets, which of course are impossible unless you have a blockchain. Those currencies are gonna be extremely important for reducing liquidity costs and sort of just greasing the wheels of how these all these other things of value, dollar, yen, RMB, euro, always going to, in my opinion, going to be the dominant currencies in the world, but they need a digital asset uh, to enable that easy translation from one thing of value to another thing of value. So we, we think there's, they supplement the global economy in, in, in key, key ways. That innovation that you've described from blockchain and digital assets, what kind of regulatory clarity do we need to, to get there? Well, I think you hit right on it. It's the key thing is regulatory clarity. And that's the part that unfortunately I think is missing in, in the U.S. market right now. It's still too confusing. It's too inconsistent. And there are just too many question marks. And that really hurts innovation because the funders of, of these technologies kind of hold back. The innovators hold back. Or worse, they go to another place. Not necessarily less regulation. In fact, we, we would advocate for, and this is probably going to be different than some other countries, that the best system is going to be one that uh, takes in consideration consumer protection, a nice environment for, for innovators, that they can feel comfortable and invest in these things, um, and also uh, recognize the importance of the job that other regulators have at the Federal Reserve and at Treasury and at FinCEN. You've got to get all three of those kind of working together. The U.S. does not have to be have less regulation than Switzerland or Singapore, but they absolutely have to have as much clarity.